This is Eugene Henrikovich from the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung RC512 laptop computer. And we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Samsung RC512 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure all power is disconnected. And this is especially important with laptops with LED screens. So we want to remove the battery. We flip the laptop over. There's two levers right above the battery. We slide both those outwards and we slide the battery out. Once the battery is removed, the laptop now is safe to work with. Uh, like most laptop computers, the screen has a screen bezel around it, the plastic frame around it, and we have to remove the screen bezel first to get to the screen assembly. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove four screws, two at the bottom and two at the top that are hidden behind some rubber covers. So let's get started. But before we get started, I want to show you the tools we're going to need. We're going to need some screwdrivers, a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. A PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. We, might, we may not need this one. And a fat, small flathead screwdriver just in case. We probably won't need this one either. Next we have an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade and that is to remove the screw covers. And also we have a pair of metal tweezers that's to remove any screws that are stuck. So let's get started. Let's remove the screw covers using our X-Acto knife. What I like to do is put them right beside the screw holes so that I don't lose them later on. Okay, three. This one you have to dig in a little bit. We can do it. Three. And four. Okay, when I took off the screw covers right away, I see that we actually are going to need, need the PH00 screwdriver because the screws are a bit smaller. So we use that one to remove the four screws. And what I like to do for each step with each set of screws is put them in a separate pile. So when I reassemble the laptop again, I can better keep track of which screws go where. And for each pile, I keep it in the order of which I did that step. So we remove all four screws. And the next thing we're going to do is snap the screen bezel off. The way I like to do that is rotate the laptop to its side put my fingertips on the screen side of the bezel and gently start lifting up the plastic and listen for snapping sounds. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. And so I go all the way around the screen and do that. And if I get stuck at any point, I'll leave that part alone and I come back to it. Usually you get stuck at a corner, so you come back, you can come back to the corner and keep going and do the same thing on the bottom. Sometimes there's adhesive that makes things a little bit harder. So as long as you're hearing the snapping sounds, you're okay. Now try and be careful not to break the bezel. It's happened to me a few times, but most of the time it should be okay. Now on the corner I see that I'm stuck a little bit, so I'm going to try to use my screwdriver to get in under the bezel, see if we can get it unstuck. And so what I finally did was I pulled out outward and up, and I got this part out. So let's try the same trick, see if it works on this side. Okay, and we're going to try to get our screwdriver to help us again. I'm using the flathead screwdriver. To help us and we finally got the corner out. Okay, once the corners are out, it's really it's a lot simpler, so you just kinda 
the snap off the bottom corners and the screen bezel comes off. Okay, once the screen bezel is off, we see the screen assembly and this type of screen, it's mounted by screws to metal mounting brackets on the side and we want to get to those screws and sometimes it's a little bit hard to get to. So what I like to do for this step is pull the screen assembly forward a little bit and that will get to the top screws but there's also some screws here and some screws here that we can't quite get to. The trick I have for that is to loosen two screws on each side, not remove them but loosen them so I could pull the screen forward a little bit. So for that I once again use my PH00 screwdriver and I loosen them. And now I'm going to see if I can pull the screen forward just enough to get to the screws that are on the side. And I think I can actually do that. And once again, I use my PH00 screwdriver, but I could probably use my PH1 screwdriver. And this screw is stuck. So we're going to get our tweezers and remove this screw. And actually, let me try the PH1 screwdriver. Nope. The PH1 doesn't work, so stay with the PH00 screwdriver. Two. There's three screws on each side. Three. And we go to the other side. When you do this, make sure your screen assembly is tilted back. And the reason is is that when you remove all the screws you don't want the screen to fall forward on you. So for this laptop the screws on the side are fairly easy to get to. There's a metal bracket at the top that you can take off to make it easier but I'm not going to do that because this is fairly easy to do. But if you wanted to take off the metal bracket at the top, there's two screws here you remove and this whole metal bracket at the top comes off and you can tilt the screen forward a little bit more from the screen assembly. But in our case, it was not necessary. Okay, so next we gently tilt the screen forward and see if it's getting stuck on anything. So far, so good. And we tilted it forward without any problem. Now this type of screen, it's an LED screen, and it only has one connector at this location. So we want to remove this, disconnect this connection. In order to do that, there's some adhesive tape at the top first that we lift up. And usually the video cable has some adhesive cable that is stuck to the back of the screen, so we gently this one's pretty tough, so gently we work that off, being careful not to damage the video cable. And it comes off, and then we slide the connector out, and it comes out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector, because that's the biggest source of problems I see when people do this at home. So when you slide it back in, you'll feel, but not hear, two clicks to see how it's engaged. And also, there should not be there should not be a gap in the seam. Let's see if we can get a good focus. There we go. There should be should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks exactly like this. There's no gap between the two sides of the connection. That's when you know you have a good connection. Okay, let's get the camera back. Alright, so let's remove the connector again. Pull it out. Now let's take a look at the screen. This is a standard 15.6 LED screen. As of early 2012, this is the most common screen that's, that's installed in laptop computers, so you should not have trouble finding the screen. And let's look at the part number. 
The part number you need to look up is LTN156AT15. LTN156AT15. So this is the part number you look up. Now, uh, when you get your screen, most likely it will not be the same part number, but it will be a compatible screen because five or six different vendors sell the exact same screen. Now, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation, and also we have a compatibility guarantee that this, the screen we ship is not compatible, we'll take it back. And we also ship all over the world. So if you're not in the United States, chances are we can ship it to you in your country. To order the screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com, click on buy a screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model number and your email. And then once you do that, we'll send you an email back with the link to the right screen, which you can then buy online. Okay, in addition uh, to the screen, we also have a toolkit available that we sell and it includes all the tools that you see, see here. And this toolkit was specifically picked out to replace laptop screens, so it should be all the tools necessary to do the job easily. And you can buy it on the same website when you buy the screen. Okay, so uh, once you do have your screen again, uh, you reconnect the connection, put the screen back in, Put the three screws on each side back in, and this is very important. Make sure you remember to tighten these hinge connections down here. Then you put the two screws up, or actually the two screws go after you snap the bezel on. Then you snap the bezel on and put the four screws in, two on the top and two on the bottom, and you should be good to go. And that'll be it. And uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.